Today, a renewed push to get more crossing guards stationed outside of schools in Prince George's County. One hour from now, the chief of police will be at Riverside Riverdale Elementary School, I should say, working as a crossing guard. That's where two young students were hit and killed while walking to school. And Randy Ayala joins us now. Randy's at the school this morning and has more on how the county has been working to address the shortage after what is a devastating tragedy. Yeah, good morning, Allison. You know, having the chief of police out here uh, serving as a crossing guard this morning just shows you uh, how serious the shortage is, right? Uh, I want to show you here. Uh, another memorial set up. This is a different one. There's two out here set up for the two students who lost their lives here. Uh, a five year old little girl and a 10 year old little boy. Uh, this side again has flowers and, and a candle lit as well. But you know, it's been about five months now uh, since that tragic accident. It happened a week before Thanksgiving uh, last year. Both children were walking to school and were inside the crosswalk uh, when a car hit them. Shortly after that accident, we heard from Chief Malik Aziz uh, about the need for more crossing guards in the county. He said it's been a challenge getting those crossing guards. Uh, at the beginning of the year, the county exec announced a plan to station police officers at intersections uh, to try to fill that void, having officers serve as crossing guards. And it was then that they also announced more incentives to try to hire uh, for those positions here, more recruiting, higher pay uh, and streamlining the hiring process. So we know fully staffed, the county has over 300 daily uh, crossing guard assignments. We were also told uh, since 2000 16. They've been uh, just dealing with a staffing decline, mostly due to uh, retirements, and then the pandemic kind of made that worse. So right now we don't know where the county is with staffing, uh, but today we should be able to get that update again. Chief Aziz will be here around 730 uh, outside of Riverdale Elementary School here in Prince George's County, serving as a crossing guard, uh, making sure kids get to school safely, and we will be out here. Uh, we'll be talking to the chief about that in this ongoing effort, and we'll have an update for you at 9 a.m. on Get Up DC. Guys. All right, I sure hope they can address this, Randy, so no other child is, is lost and no family goes through that. Thank you.